The MedAct archive has just been catalogued at the Wellcome Library. The archive tells the story of an organisation of doctors and nurses who joined together to campaign and protest against nuclear weapons during Cold War tensions. These doctors were drawn to activism through a sense of professional responsibility, fearing that nuclear weapons pose the greatest threat to human survival. MedAct was formed in 1992 as a merger of two organisations, the Medical Campaign Against Nuclear Weapons and the Medical Association for the Prevention of War. MedAct staged protests, organised appeals and lobbied politicians for nuclear disarmament. As doctors, their campaigns approached the nuclear issue from a medical perspective, questioning what the health implications would be of a nuclear attack and whether the health service would be able to cope with the casualty impact. A number of MEDAC's campaigns also addressed the discrepancy between defence and health expenditure. During the NHS reforms of the 1980s, the organisation used the slogans Beds Not Bombs and Treatment Not Trident to argue that public money would be better spent on medical care. MEDACT had a number of campaign buses which toured the country to raise awareness of nuclear issues. The papers of the bus organising committee include itineraries which show just how far and wide the bus travelled. It visited the Houses of Parliament, Glastonbury, Edinburgh festivals, as well as many cities, towns and villages around the country. The collection includes records of MEDAC's civil defence working group. This group strongly opposed the government's position on civil defence and they pointed out flaws in nuclear emergency planning. Members of the civil defence group were particularly critical of the Home Office's Protect and Survive public information series. This series offered step-by-step -step advice about preparing for a nuclear attack and it had advice on preparing a fallout shelter and stocking up on food and medical supplies. In this chilling clip, we're told in meticulous detail how to remove a dead body after an attack. If anyone dies while you are kept in your fallout room, move the body to another room in the house. Label the body with name and address and cover it as tightly as possible in polythene, paper, sheets or blankets. Tie a second card to the covering. The radio will advise you what to do about taking the body away for burial. Doctors and nurses in MEDACT felt that Protect and Survive was misleading as it provided the impression that a nuclear attack could be survived if these precautions were taken. In response to Protect and Survive, members of MEDACT produced leaflets which countered the claims made in government circulars and they highlighted the more devastating impact of a nuclear attack. As well as medical historians, the MEDACT archive will have broad appeal to a range of researchers. The breadth of the collection is particularly impressive, with valuable research material covering a whole range of subjects, including radiation, the psychosocial impact of war, civil defence, nuclear strategy and arms conversion. MEDACT is still active today, so the archive will grow to include their more recent campaigns, addressing the health implications of conflict, development and environmental change.